Ah, uh, so she told you, did she? She's very worried about you. We all are. You need to know your limits. You shouldn't push yourself like that. <laughs> There's no need for concern. I'm well aware of my limits, I assure you. And I have yet to approach them. I must say, though, I was expecting you to ask me why I did it. Why I sealed away the Claria, I mean. You must be curious, no? I think I speak for all of us when I say that we trust you and the Six Priests completely. I have no doubt you had a good reason for doing what you did. And that's all I need to know. But... But what? Do you think you're being cold or standoffish for not explaining your actions to me? Perish the thought. I'm your friend. I understand there are extenuating circumstances. You'll tell me when the time is right. Toll. Sometimes... Sometimes, even we get a little scared. Our decisions have such far-reaching consequences. We're forced to wonder if they're the right things to do. <sighs> but second-guessing ourselves is unseemly. It makes us appear weak. We must always be absolutely certain in our convictions, never wavering for even a moment. That's what's expected of us. After all, we're goddesses. No. No, that's not true. What? I know I haven't experienced even half of what you two have, so I probably have no right to say this. But simply put, you're not perfect beings. If being a goddess requires infallibility, then you two are only about halfway there. But halfway to perfection is still amazing. Pushing yourselves to go all the way is utterly pointless. It accomplishes nothing. Sometimes, you have to be able to admit your faults and accept help from those who care about you. Well, you certainly aren't one to mince words, are you? What? Didn't you know? Speaking your mind openly is what you do with friends. <laughs> Pulling a line like that at a time like this. You're incorrigible. <laughs> Thank you, Toll. If it's all right with you, I think... I'd like you to be the first person I discuss this with. When the time is right, of course. C certainly I'd be honored. Oh, and before I forget, there was another reason for my visit today as well. Oh? Yes. I... I hope you like it. Fina told me you'd be here. I'm sorry to visit you at this late hour, though. Oh, it's quite alright. I don't think anyone's going to get much sleep tonight. No kidding. The ritual starts bright and early in the morning, no? That's right. The six priests have already begun their preparations. By tomorrow evening, it should be all over. Without incident, I pray. That's good. <laughs> But aren't you worried? We are, after all, only halfway infallible. Oh, come now. You know I didn't mean it like that. Though, truth be told, I'm about ready to take back that comment. You've never seemed more invaluable than you do at this moment. You have such conviction in your eyes. You truly are a woman on a mission. Or, more appropriately, a goddess on high. <laughs> I do feel a bit invigorated by all this excitement, I suppose. You think I'd be nervous too, but strangely, I'm not. I feel rather calm and collected, in fact. Perhaps it's the harmonica. Oh? Well, that seems a bit exaggerated. But I'm glad to hear my gift is appreciated nonetheless. Oh, it's no exaggeration at all. A handmade harmonica. Forged of Claria by the master metalsmith Zalem herself. However did you manage to afford such an extravagant item in times like these? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Holy Knights are salaried after all. And I have no particularly expensive hobbies. 
Nor could I think of a better use for my money in all the world. Hmm? What was that? Oh, nothing. Just thinking out loud. Would you afford me the honor of hearing you play it once more? I missed the beginning of that lovely melody. It would be my pleasure. Just be sure you listen closely this time. Sorry to keep you waiting, Commander. It's quite alright. I just figured I might try one last time. It's not too late, you know. Are you certain you won't reconsider? I do not doubt your skills, sir. But I simply cannot allow you to undertake this mission alone. And I should hope you know me well enough to understand how stubborn I intend to be on this point. But you're still so young. You bear the future of Ys on your shoulders. What purpose could possibly be served by rushing headlong into certain death? To ensure there's a future left to bear, sir. The demons are already upon us. And the knights and sorcerers have their hands full keeping them at bay until the ritual is completed. The only way to prevent them from overpowering us is to strike from within and spawn confusion in their ranks. You said so yourself. Though, I do regret the offense a certain galleon will take with me for pursuing this course of action. We're the same rank, yet I alone get to accompany you? I can see the indignation in his eyes now. <laughs> yes, so can I. And if you survive, you'll be apologizing for it for the rest of your life. Not just to him, but to your friends, your little brother, and of course, to Lady Rhea most of all. <laughs> I'm prepared for the consequences of my actions. But at least I won't be alone in my shame. I can't imagine how you'll ever get that daughter of yours to forgive you for running off like this. Indeed. Our survival will be met with a hero's welcome. But eventually, the scoldings will begin, and demons may pale in comparison. At any rate, dawn is breaking. I think it's time we meet our fates head on. Yes, sir! I'm not alone. <laughs> An ambush, is it? Your power will only feed me! What the hell are these things? No matter how many I defeat, I can't absorb their power. What? Damn. Seems Dallas has been tinkering with the undead. Wh what? <laughs> well, that seems to have done the trick. Uh. It's been a long time, Toll. I haven't seen you since that fateful night. It has been a while. But here you are, Rhea. You've saved me a great deal of time by coming. Yes. I'm glad I happened upon you as well. There's something we need to discuss. A grievance I wish to air with you, as it were. Oh? And what might that be? Related to my capture of Fina, no doubt. No. It's about that day. That night, when you stayed behind on the surface, without saying a word to either of us. Well... It was only after the ritual had been completed, and the shrine raised into the heavens that I heard what had become of you and Saul. I can't even begin to imagine how much Fina and I grieved for you. Our closest friend had disappeared into the night, purposely getting himself lost in a damned land without so much as a goodbye. 
we began to think about our friendship. Everything we've been through together may have all been a lie. No, that's not true! I did it because I care about you! <laughs> <laughs> you actually bought all that? Well, I'm certainly no actress, so I suspect my audience may simply be a bit naive. Or gullible, perhaps. Hmm. Pity. I was beginning to reconsider my stance on the matter. Perhaps it all has been a lie. I am, after all, a traitor to East now. I've accepted demonic power, and even kidnapped your sister. And that won't be the last of my misdeeds. Now that I have you and the Black Pearl in my sights, I can't simply allow you to escape. But I will afford you a chance to come quietly. Will you accompany me without resistance? No, I won't. I can't... I can't let you die like this. Uh. So, I was right. Your face has always been extraordinarily easy to read, my dear Toll. What? What nonsense are you spouting? Why would I ever let myself get killed? To destroy the demonic essence, I would presume. <laughs> but it won't work. The essence originates from the Black Pearl. Unless the object itself is destroyed, the essence will remain. And the Black Pearl is a treasure crafted long, long ago, in the Age of the Gods. No man, nor indeed divine entity, could destroy it so easily. Which isn't to say it's impossible, of course. Your method simply won't be enough to accomplish it. Only by absorbing so much power as to become one with the demonic essence, essentially merging into it, could any man, woman, or god possess the ability to destroy the Black Pearl. But that would be nothing short of suicide. After all, if you and the Black Pearl are one and the same, then your existence depends on its existence. And if you annihilate your source of life, you too will be annihilated. No less truly or completely. <sighs> Listen to yourself ramble. Do you think this is all an act? Look well upon me! Look at what I've become! The toll fact you knew died that day! The man... Nay... The demon I am now is driven only by a lust for power! With the intent to rule over all of these! The demonic essence has given me what I need to achieve this goal! Why would I ever wish? Please, Toll, Don't do this. I know how difficult it must be to retain any semblance of reason while taking that form. Do you remember what you said to me before? You told me I was halfway perfect, and that pushing myself to go all the way was utterly pointless. Sometimes, you have to be able to admit your faults and accept help from those who care about you. That's not to say you're halfway perfect, of course. Really, you do nothing halfway at all, it seems. But you should follow your own advice nonetheless. I don't see you accepting any help. I only see you pushing your limits. Well, then why don't you tell me? Tell me how you plan on keeping the demonic essence locked up inside the Black Pearl. When I accepted these powers, I was given insight into the true nature of the essence. You might say I... felt it. It was like... a chaotic flickering flame, both beautiful and revolting in equal measure. Generating demons and darkness unending. If controlling it were such a simple task, no doubt you two would have done it long ago. This whole mess. Over as soon as the first demons reared their ugly heads! <sighs> you obviously have some sort of plan in mind, or you wouldn't be here. So what is it? What scheme have you devised that is so drastic? It drove you and your sister to sneak away into this hellish abyss. I know there's something you're not telling me. Something you're hiding! <sighs> I'm sorry. I can't say. I won't. Not to you. Hmm? Consider them a belated thank you gift for the lovely harmonica you once gave me. Keep them close. You'll be glad you did. Rhea! If we can seal away the demonic essence, 
will have averted the worst of the crisis, and you'll be free of this curse you've taken upon yourself. So I beg of you, please, stay your hand and leave everything to us. <laughs> Can't let me die like this, huh? She's one to talk. The look in her eyes was that of a woman willing to accept whatever fate may befall her. <sighs> And in this accursed tower, death is most likely the end to any story, especially if... <laughs>